Hey, what's up guys? Jake with Legacy 4x4 here again, and today we're gonna to be working on my daily driver again. We are going to be installing these swing case undercover toolboxes on both the drivers and passenger sides of my F-150. All right, so as you guys saw in the bed lining video, I'm kind of redesigning the way I use the back of my truck. I noticed that I needed more dry covered storage space, and so I elected to purchase a tonneau cover, which should be coming in next week. But I also need to remove my old aluminum toolbox that I've had for quite a while in order to make the tonneau cover fit. And doing all that, I also bed lined the back of my truck, and now I'm to the point where I want to install these toolboxes to give the truck some functionality without taking up too much of the bed space and allowing them to put the tonneau cover on top of it. This is the only product I could find that was meant for my truck that could solve this purpose or you know, satisfy the need that I had for this kind of unique situation. These are by a company called Swing Case. You can buy these on Amazon and a lot of your other tool or truck kind of uh, retail outlets. As you can see here, I have one of these already out of the box. I haven't unpackaged the other one yet. It just came in. These look pretty nice. They're not as big as a full-size truck toolbox, of course, but I don't really carry that much with me for the most part. I really only like to have an assortment of hand tools and kind of like your generic repair tools in case something were to happen while I'm on the road. And then I keep another box full of ratchet straps and other tie down equipment for the truck or the trailer if I'm using those. So you can see that these open up. There's a nice large cavity here, a little tray, and then a little bit more space underneath that tray over there. The box comes with all of the brackets necessary to make this fit with my model of truck. And then another bonus point is these are lockable individually up here if you wanted to lock them into place. I'm not really worried about that feature because this is gonna have a tonneau cover over it, which is gonna be locked with my tailgate. So I don't really have to worry about the lock too much for what I'm gonna use. But in the event that I need it, at least I know that it's there. Anyways, let's go take a look at what these look like on the truck and then we'll kind of figure out how these mount. I'm not super familiar with them. I've never used this before, but it doesn't look too hard. They're just a bracket that bolts into the truck and that seems to be it. So let's go get started. All right, so initial impression here, this is the main bracket that comes with these swing cases and it goes together super simply. You literally just connect these two nuts here on this with the pre-threaded uh, kind of studs that are sticking out of this. You just connect the two nuts, it's a 7 16th. Uh, socket and that's the bracket and this is what's going to get installed onto the truck first impressions too of the bracket this has a really nice powder coat finish there was a couple of scratches on it probably from shipping or something like that if i had to guess but overall the finish looks really good and ultimately i don't really care if it has a couple scratches on it this is going to the back of a truck it doesn't really matter to me we're going to put this onto the truck next I did already notice as I was looking at it, I'll take you guys out there and show you. I have one slight problem that I did not think about or account for uh, before doing this. So let me go show you guys what that problem is on the truck. All right, so you guys can see here, this is where this bracket's gonna go because I'm installing the passenger side at the moment. Now, the company does call for this bracket to be placed flush with the bottom of the bed right there. As you can see, my tie down hook is in the way. Now they do say in their instructions that you have to take the tie down hook and flip it the other direction. If you watch the bed lining video, you know that I literally just welded these into place. They are not getting flipped. I didn't think about the fact that I might have to flip these before installing these cases because I didn't have the cases on hand when I was doing the bed liner. So I think the solution I'm going to do simply because I don't want to cut and re-weld and have to redo all that bed liner there because that's going to take way too long and it's not going to look as good. I think I'm just gonna cut these brackets off and make them flush. Now granted, by doing that, I do lose the functionality of those tie down points, but I do have two more at the front of the bed, so at least it's better than nothing. And ultimately, although it's not really designed for it, you could use this to tie down some cargo in the back of the truck, as long as it's not something super heavy or it doesn't need to have some kind of like super rated tie down hook to it. So anyways, we're gonna get a grinder out and we're gonna cut both of these off and then install this passenger side. Now 
Next up, we have to connect this bracket to the steel of the truck. To do this, they included some self-tapping screws here. I have mixed opinions about self-tapping screws. I'm like 50-50 on whether they ever choose to work for me or not. So hopefully these ones work, but it should be simple. If these work, it'll be super simple. If it doesn't work really well, then I'll go through and drill pilot holes and we'll connect them like that. But anyways, let's move on to the next step of this. So far, it's going super easy. All right, sorry about the weed blower. Uh, neighbor is blowing off his driveway apparently. But with the baby impact, that did go by super quick. Those screws actually worked perfectly. The next step is to just hang the swing case on the latch that we just installed on the truck. All right, so that case is obviously pretty easily removed. If you were to just open it up and pull it off the hinges, you could take this thing right out of the back of the truck. So, swing gate does provide a little lock here that is supposed to make that impossible. So, I'll show you guys what this installs like, but it looks super simple. It just fits between two of the hinges. You rotate it into place and lock it. It still allows the toolbox to swing out, but it doesn't allow somebody to come by and just pick the toolbox up off the hinges and take it out with them. But if you ever wanted to do it, you have the key for it and you can take this thing off and then pull the box off if you needed to. Let's go ahead and install this part next. All right, so that was actually super, super simple to install. The screws went perfectly through the sheet metal and did exactly what they're supposed to do. The case was all pretty much done. You just bolt the two brackets together, screw them into the truck, and then you're finished. And because you are mounting it flush, it's super easy to line up. The whole thing is already squared. The whole thing is ready to go. You just put the bracket flush down, make the bar level, and that's the end of it. Anyways, let me show you guys how one of these boxes comes from the factory when it gets shipped to you, and then I'm gonna go through and install this on the other side of the truck real quick. So let's just cue a nice long time lapse here. We'll get the other one installed, and then we'll fill these up with some stuff and see how they do. All right, so unlike the other one, this one actually has a flawless finish on it. There's no scratches anywhere on it. So clearly the other one just had some damage from shipping and that's all it is. But the finish on this one is perfect. But you saw how easy that is to put this together really quickly. It's just those two little nuts right there and the whole thing just slides together. Now, just to go screw this into the truck. All right guys, that finishes up this project. Those were super easy to install. They took me about an hour to do both sides. I did have to make that one modification to my bed just because of what I'd done to it, but otherwise those fit perfectly. And I am 100% sure if you have a stock or a close to stock F-150, those are gonna fit perfectly right in the back, exactly like they're designed to. 
They hold a pretty fair amount of stuff. They are a little bit smaller than a full-size truck box, even having two of them, so I've lost a little bit of space. But the truth of the matter is, my truck box was not even remotely full anyways. It was mostly just taking up dead space in the back of my truck. With that done now, I've got one box able to store all of my tools and one box to store all of my towing equipment and ratchet straps and things of that nature. The boxes seem pretty high quality. I'm pretty happy with them and I think they're gonna hold up perfectly great, especially once I put my tonneau cover on here next week when it comes in the mail. Super simple video guys, I know, but I thought some of y'all might be interested in seeing an option that I found if you wanted to have this kind of storage underneath the tonneau cover in the back of your truck. I hope you guys like this. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.